Hello again and welcome in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. My name is Abdul Mati Asiri and in this video we will continue our discussion regarding the airplane energy management and the descent, especially if you are above the profile. In part one we uh, talked about if you are uh, still at a high altitude and in this part we'll talk about approaching 10,000 and in the terminal area. The uh, first thing I'd like to mention here is those two circles as you know the FMC uh, depicts the circles here for when the airplane should start to pitch down to slow down to speed restriction and the second circle the airplane will be at that speed restriction at idle power and then continue the descent now approaching uh, 10,000 if you are using level change for the descent it's a good idea to uh, start slowing down to the speed restriction at 11,000 if VNAV is engaged VNAV will take care of it however if you are doing a descent on level change and you find yourself in a tight position approaching 10,000 uh, or feeling the airplane is not slowing down then it's not a good idea to engage uh, a VNAV at that point so either VNAV is engaged from early on and using the speed brake you are trying to uh, help it to return back on the profile but if you are using level change and then approaching 10,000 if the airplane is too fast for it to slow down to speed restriction then uh, do not engage VNAV a quicker way to do it is you go vertical speed and go with uh, a positive uh, rate of climb like 200 or 300 that will give you the quickest airplane response and pitch to make sure that you don't uh, descend below 10,000 uh, with a high speed so you go 200 or 300 above slow down to 250 or 240 and as the airplane approaches this speed then you can just re-engage level change uh, in order to respect the uh, speed restriction below 10,000 uh, another point I, I wanted to cover here is when you extend the center line if you get a radar vectors for the approach usually you will ask the uh, pilot monitoring to extend the center line and from the final approach fix however keep in mind if you were in Vina uh, before or at any time you go in a hitting select for the descent uh, make sure to get out of Vina either going to level change or vertical speed so at any time on the descent especially if you are using heading select and you are off the uh, the programmed route then make sure to get out of vina because the fmc does not have a path to construct an idle power uh, descent profile out of so let's assume now we got a heading of uh, 100 for the approach so we selected heading select and level change and let me slow down here to 250 and we asked the pilot motoring to extend the center line so we'll go we'll take the final approach fix usually on top and then either verify or enter the uh, final approach course manually here. so this is the uh, correct final approach course for this approach go ahead and make it big and at any time before you execute just make sure in the ND that you have the correct uh, output of what you are doing confirm with the other pilot confirmed and then execute Now how do you figure out the uh, track miles that the airplane uh, have until it reaches the runway? A few ways of doing it. One is you have here the direct mile from the airplane symbol to whatever point you have extended the center line from. And then you add to that how many miles from the final approach fix to the runway. So in this case it's 6 miles. So we have about 37 miles uh, to go or so. And that is assuming that the airplane will fly directly to the final approach fix which is usually not the case uh, if you are doing an ILS you still have at least five miles so you can factor those five miles as well uh, to uh, compute a proper uh, track miles another way is you can gauge by uh, seeing here how far is the airplane from the extended center line so 30 miles and then let's add to it 10 miles which is five miles to the final approach fix and then let's say six or five miles to the runway so we have about 40 miles so 40 miles using this 31 plus 5 here 36 plus 6 is 42 so we are we are within plus or minus two miles which is not a big deal this is all just an approximation to see how far are you from the uh, profile now remember if you are extending the center line the vertical deviation indicator is not reliable uh, it becomes reliable as you turn toward the runway 
what I found in the real airplane is if I'm extending the center line from uh, 30 miles or so from the uh, from the approach, uh, this uh, sometimes is uh, close to uh, what I use if I use the mental math to compute uh, my descent profile and sometimes it is very far so it's better just to ignore the vertical deviation indicator if you are on the radar vectors until the airplane uh, turns toward the uh, the runway uh, now regarding the uh, track mass another uh, way to find it is here if you go to the progress page the uh, total distance here is the distance to the final approach fix and then to the uh, to the runway so this is the quickest way and uh, easiest way to find it but remember you need to add at least five miles or so which is uh, what we said the uh, excess miles that you get from the uh, from radar to intercept the localizer so uh, moving on i'm gonna just uh, reposition the airplane to the uh, uh, closer to five thousand or so and uh, on a base leg okay now we are approaching seven thousand uh, on a base leg for the uh, ILS approach runway 3 for right here and we are descending to 2000 let's assume that we are clear for the approach so the uh, question is when to decelerate from 250 or 240 to up speed the uh, best way to do it is just to mimic the FMC on normal flight and the FMC will slow down at uh, 20 track miles or 5000 above feet elevation so if you are coming straight in or on a base like this, it's usually 5,000 above field elevation. Or you can just, uh, using the uh, track miles method that I have mentioned uh, previously, just when you are about 20 miles, a track miles to the runway, uh, you need to start slowing down. Now, since we are above the profile, even if you do the mental math here, we are 12 miles to the final approach fix, and we can add to that about 10 miles, so we are 22 miles and uh, here we have 7,000 feet to lose so 21 plus 5 is 26 and we have about 2 knots of a tailwind so 28 miles so we are 6 miles behind uh, the profile the speed break is extended uh, so as I said just to to uh, get the airplane uh, uh, as as low as possible as soon as possible it's better not to slow down to up speed but slow down to 210 and 210 you are within the uh, flap limit uh, speed for flaps 1 and flaps 5 and this is what we what we will do is just to slow down to uh, 210 with the uh, speed brake extended and then as the airplane approaches 210 we retract the speed brake and ask for flaps 1 and then flaps 5 and leave it on level change at 210 and that will give you the best uh, rate of descent using the flap okay so now we have the uh, three brakes still extended and let's assume we are heading four or five clear for the approach i'm gonna arm only the localizer because the beam dg here if i am the approach will capture the uh, glide slope regardless of how far the glide slope is so we are approaching 5000 by the way, the dotted line here extends about 14 miles from the runway, or 14.7, I forgot the exact uh, digit, but it's about 14 miles if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so approaching 5000 above field elevation, I'm going to start slowing down now to 210. With the speed brake extended, so the speed brake is still extended. And as the airplane approaches 210, I retract the speed brake and then ask for flaps 1 and then uh, flaps 5 and I leave the speed at 210 and remember if I retract the speed brake now remember that the airplane might uh, accelerate a bit so it's better it's a good idea to make sure that you are within the uh, flap limit speed before you extend the flaps so I'll go flaps 1 flaps 5 
getting close to the final prospects then you have the gear you can lower the gear and then once the gear is down unlocked slow down to 185 and go for flaps 15 so now the gear is down we'll go for speed of 185 level change I'm gonna set a lower altitude here so we can continue the descent and once you are within the uh, flaps 15 limit go ahead and ask for flaps 15 okay so I'll go with flaps 15 now We'll arm the speed brake since the gear is down, flap 15. And then as you get closer to the, uh, to the glide slope, then go ahead and slow down to flaps 15, go to flaps 30, set your target speed, and hopefully by uh, 1000 feet, you capture the uh, glide slope. If you don't capture it by 1000 feet, then the best thing to do is just an execute and go around and return back. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's better actually to execute a go around from an uh, unstable approach rather than to save uh, an approach that is uh, unstable. I mean, always remember that. The best thing to do is a go around. Okay, so now we are 1730 AGL and the slope as you can see is coming up. So I'm gonna let it approach the slope. then I'm gonna slow down to flaps 15, ask for flaps 30 and then run the checklist. And on the approach. And as soon as I am within flaps uh, 30 speed, I'm gonna go ahead for flaps 30, bug target. I'm now at 1000, so I might be a little bit late in real life. Uh, I wouldn't like to do that. But here, since just a demonstration, we'll uh, continue our uh, demonstration. I usually like to have a 5 knots margin before the uh, speed limit, so 175 is the speed limit for flaps 30. So I'm going off flaps 30. We'll bug target. And land the checklist. Alright, so now we are at 500 feet. We are on the localizer, glide slope, speed is coming down. Uh, I was a little bit late on, on, on the execution of the, uh, the deceleration and the flap extension. Uh, but this is the way that I usually uh, do it. If I, uh, if I'm above the profile on the terminal area. And uh, I believe it is the best, the smoothest way to do it. And uh, in all cases, if you are not stable by 1000 feet or depending on the, your company procedure, some companies will allow you to, uh, on a visual approach, to go up to 500 feet AGL before you need to be stabilized. Me personally, I like to be stable by 1000 feet. And remember always, do not try to save an unstable approach below 1000 feet. Just execute a go around. All right, so uh, that's it about the uh, airplane energy management. Uh, if you are above the profile, I hope as usual that this video will be of some benefit to you. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please let me know. So uh, until next time, this is Abdul Matias Wish you a safe, flying, and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.